Okay, so we finished our six lines and we're ready to move on. We're gonna still continue with the element of line, but we're gonna focus on working with line and brush. Okay, so that's a new tool we're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Adobe Illustrator. It's the orange flower. Just double click on that by pushing my pen on the pad twice. It's gonna open up Adobe Illustrator CS2, hopefully sometime today. If you have a song in your head, feel free to hum it at this point because it may take a little bit. Remember, patience is a virtue. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And bam, it should come up. All right, so do not register. We do not want spam to our email. All right, if the um, new documents menu does not come up, um, remember, I'm gonna click new documents on the menu if it does come up. And then this gray screen, we're gonna go to file, new, or control N for a new document. That way this will come up. I'm gonna continue calling this lines, space bar, my initials. Make sure you put your initials there. And then I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so my document's ready to go. Remember you could zoom out by hitting control minus, or if you wanna zoom in, control plus, just so you have your digital canvas on site. I'm just gonna hit control zero. Remember, it's the number zero to get my digital canvas all on the screen. So fit on the screen, we're good. All right, so now we're in our lines. My line document is named correctly. Okay, line space bar my initials. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my fill by hitting the question mark key. Okay, you notice that my fill is gone. Okay, remember you can toggle between your stroke and your fill by hitting X. And then I take a look and I wanna go to the brush tool. The brush tool looks like a brush, so that's pretty, you know, pretty easy. Um, it says paintbrush tool, okay, the shortcut for that is B, okay, for brush tool. So I'm going to go ahead and B on my keyboard, okay, so remember, shortcuts save you a ton of time, it's awesome, enjoy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and draw out a brush line, and I'm just going to make it kind of fun, you know, feel free to draw it free forming, you know, whatever you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and just take up my digital canvas a little bit just for fun, okay. And you'll notice it kind of like, you know, um, circles it off because we're working in vector format. So it's all mathematical, so it kind of has to circle it off. It's not exactly how I drew it, but um, it'll do. Um, and I drew that free-forming line with the brush tool. Now you notice I'm in the brush tool, I have my options here. So you can see that there's a brush. I'm gonna hit this down arrow and we've got some to choose from. I'm just gonna scroll down. And we've got different brushes here. And I'll show you how to find even more brushes in the next video, but right now I'm just going to start with one that I think is kind of cool. And we take a look, I clicked on that one, and remember it was selected, so if it wasn't selected, right, it's not going to know what to do. So watch, Control shift a nothing selected, and I have a new brush, and yeah, it's not working because it doesn't know where to put this new brush. So make sure, whoops, I accidentally double clicked on it. So make sure that you have your item selected. Remember, to select something very quickly, you hold the Control key good and you just click on that line and now it knows what to change okay so now it's selected with that kind of blue with the anchor point showing blue paths okay and I'm gonna go ahead and hit this down arrow and now I'm gonna select the brush and there we go okay so I'm just gonna click out of that so the brushes go away and I have my nice brush and one of the things that you can do that really affects it which is kind of cool is the stroke weight you see this one point right here that's a stroke weight you can make it larger which is kind of crazy Whoa, that's a little too large. Or you can make it even smaller, that stroke weight. So the thickness of the stroke gets smaller. I could even make a 0.5. So you can see, so it's no problems fitting on the digital canvas. What's even cooler with the stroke weight is you can type in a custom stroke weight. So I'm gonna type in 0.1. So this is gonna be really small of a stroke thickness and bam. Okay, so I hit Control Shift A and you can see that my line's there, but it's a little hard to see at the top here, but we've got, um, that line with the brush. Feel free by changing um, the brush by holding the control key, click on it, make sure it's selected, and you've got other brushes to choose from. Okay? A lot of fun. Control Shift A. Okay, and if I want to make the stroke weight a little bit thicker, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, really kind of nice, no fill brush tool this time. Uh, actually they call it the paintbrush tool, but same thing. And then make sure it fits on your digital canvas. Have some fun with it. Remember. To draw that brush, Control Shift A to deselect. 
Some people are drawing out brushes and then they draw out the next one. Sometimes it gets a little distorted. So to save you the trouble, draw out the brush, control shift A, that way you won't have any problems. Control shift A with drawing the brush. Okay, control shift A. All right. We're going to work with brushes a little bit more and a little bit in depth, mixing it up a little bit, trying different brushes out, having some fun with the program like we always do. Woohoo! All right, let's focus here. All right, looking at the document, remember lines, spacebar, initials. Make sure they're your initials. Okay, that's good. Then we got to go to the brush tool. Remember the shortcut for the brush tool? B for brush. That's the paintbrush tool. Okay, good memory. You guys are good. Um, then I'm going to go to the fill. We're looking at the fill. We've got to make sure it's on the fill. Remember X to get to the fill. And then the question mark key or forward slash to slash fill. Remember, we are not violent people, but that's to slash the actual fill, F-I-L-L. -L. All right. Um, looking at the brushes, um, making sure that we have a brush that we want that's given to us. We can go ahead and choose one. I'm going to click that one to start off with. Make sure stroke weight's where we want it. I'm going to start off with three. I'm just going to draw a free forming brush. Remember, we're focusing on the element of line. There's thousands of lines we could draw. I just like kind of drawing these little snaky lines. They're a lot of fun. All right, then hit Control Shift A, OK, and that deselects it. Remember, we have to deselect the line. But now we're going to want to go to the brush library, OK? The library of the brushes is a lot of fun. There's a lot to choose from, um, and it mixes things up a little bit to give it some coolness. Um, and you guys will find it pretty rad, okay? So um, in order to do the brush library, we have to know which um, line is going to be changed for this brush library. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select this um, line. So I'm going to hold the control key. Um, and then I'm just going to click on the line, okay? And you can see the path of it, okay? Very nice with the anchor points and so forth. And I'm going to go to the brush library. And the way we do that is where it says brush, I'm going to hit this down arrow. Now you notice something right here. I call it the play button because it looks like that play button on like a DVD player. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit that play button right there. Okay, that opens up this little menu. So I bring my uh, pen over here. I'm just hovering over. Um, the only time I pushed down was that down arrow and the play button. And now I'm going to hover over down to the open brush library. And I've got all these really cool brushes to choose from. Now, unfortunately, when I was um, putting in these brushes, um, I had an upgraded version of Adobe Illustrator. So some of them don't work, like uh, one that you may love and be like, oh yeah, this looks cool, bloody splatters. I just hit click on that one, and then let's take a look what happens. Yeah, can import the, the, uh, the bloody splatters into Illustrator. Um, so you hit cancel. Um, and let's try a different one, one that works. And one that I like a lot, um, you just got to do kind of a trial and error. So I'm hitting this down arrow, play button, hover over, open brush library, and um, ones that work pretty cool, this is one of my favorites, is Chinese. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Chinese. I'll open up this little menu. I'm just going to bring it down here so I can see my digital canvas. And I love this one right here. This one, I, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now you can see that the stroke weight's a little too thick because it kind of gets a little bumpy. Um, and it goes off the digital canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that stroke weight a little bit down. There we go. And you can select other ones on that Chinese. You can see and mess around with the stroke weight if you wanted to. You know, lots of fun. Hit Control Shift A to see what it looks like. But remember, you have to have that line selected, otherwise it's not going to know what to change that line to. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the Control key, click on it, kind of click on some other ones, um, and so forth. Now, feel free to, um, you know, like I said, trial and error and find which ones are really, really cool. You get that Play button, Open Brush Library. You got this library at your fingertips, so you can just push down on that arrow. You've got so many to choose from. Um, these are really cool. Um, let's go rainbows. Let's see if that one works. Show me the rainbows. Dope! That didn't work, so I'm going to hit cancel. Let's try one that, another one that works. Play button, open brush library. Let's hit this down arrow. Okay, let's try rope, because I know that one works. And rope. Oh, there we go. We've got some rope. Remember, it's the line is selected, so it knows which one to change. And, ooh, very cool. Yeah, it looks nice. Oh, maybe a little gradient in there. Cool. Yeah, we got it. Looks like a rope. Mm. Let's go with, uh, let's see. We've got a ton to choose from. Ooh, I like that. Control Shift A. And yeah, it looks like a rope. Yeehaw! All right, we got our brush. And this is a line and our brush library um, and so forth. 
you can feel free to uh, choose something from the brush library. Remember, down arrow, play button, open brush library, and you got these fun ones to choose from, okay? Enjoy the brushes as I do. Um, lots of fun um, and really, really cool.